Hi there, it's Peter again in another awesome build. Excuse my bad English, it's very rusty after all those years. This time I'm going to build a Scania Next Gen 770 V8 from scratch with a so called sculpture block. I'm using all kinds of materials like the sculpture block, plastic, metal, aluminium, wood and everything I can find to build this truck as realistic as possible. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, like, share or comment. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go with the build. The base of the cabin I built from a sculpture block. I'm carving out the inside so I can put seats in it, a dashboard and some other stuff. I'm using a picture that I printed from the internet. Look, I've carved out the inside. And now I'm test fitting the rear spoiler. Ok, back to the inside again. I carved out the doors and laid the floor in it. The floor is made of plastic and the tunnel is made from sculpture block. And I'm starting with the dashboard. Put some LED lights in it before I'm building everything. I already drilled some holes to put the lights in. And voila, they work. Next up I'm going to build the dashboard. The material I use is plastic from an old PVC floor. And the base is of course a sculpture block. The sculpture blocks I'm getting from Bob web shops. Next up I made the floor and the center console and the rear of the cabin. Next up I'm going to draw the lines for the grill and the front lights. And I want to make the cabin move so it can go up and down like this. So I saw the cabin in half. Now I am going to make the underside from the truck. The material I use are plastic beams, which you can use to put electrical wire in. It looks like the underside from a truck, so I can use them. And now just a quick overview how it's become. It's moving already. I carved out the buckets for the lights and made the chassis more sturdy because it's going to be a heavy boy. I think when it's done it's about two, three, maybe four kilos. So yeah, it have to be rigid. Next up I'm making the front grill. I'm using an old tobacco box for it. It's a plastic box, so no cardboard, like the new versions. And of course, it has to open and close. A lot of sanding and carving to make it smooth. Test fitting the cab on the underside. I'm using an old hinge from an old T-box, so it can open and close. As you can see. Next up, I'm going to make the doors. I'm using the same old tobacco box as the front. It's nice material to work with. It's easy to cut and form in every shape you want before it breaks. I made some hinges for the doors, but later on I'm gonna change them because they don't work as I want them to work. But for now it's okay and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe you're really helping me a lot now I'm going to make the doors more realistic adding some lines adding some more plastic and primer a bit so the bundle will stick better yeah time for bundle 
In the meanwhile, I'm adding more details, like the rear quarters, and a lot more Bondo. Loads of Bondo. The underside too. And after that, I primed it, so I can look where I can sand or put more Bondo. Like this. It's going to be a huge truck. It's going to be nice. I have faith. I hope you too. I painted the underside black. And started with some more LED lights. Give it some more bondo. And made the lights work. Before everything's going to be installed. Next up, I'm making the entry for the truck driver. I use the same material as for the doors and the front. Our old tobacco box from plastic. I use it for the interior too. I hope you can understand me what I'm saying, because my English is not as good as when I'm typing it or writing it. So my apologies if I sound a little bit like Louis van Gaal the Dutch football trainer. Let's draw some more lines. And add some more details to the cabin on the rear. Some plastic from the old tobacco box. And after that, I'm gonna put a lot of bondo on it, again and again and again but it has to be as smooth as possible as I can so a lot of sanding involved in the meanwhile I'm putting on some more lights the interior is coming along nicely too Now I'm going to paint some parts of the interior black, like the dashboard, and the rear, and the upper side. And I want to make something special, a Scania sign what lights up. I'm going to make it from plexiglass. First I'm drawing out the base shape. And then I'm going to engrave the logo in it. So when you're adding lights, the logo lights up. I painted the LEDs red. Look at this, it's already working a little bit. I painted the rear of the cab black. Look, it's already working. In the meanwhile, I put some lights in the dashboard. I just added some vinyl to the dash and engraved the Scania logo a little bit better and added some white vinyl to make it look like leather. Next up I'm going to make the steering wheel. I made it out of plastic, vinyl and some carbon fiber. Not real carbon fiber of course, but fake one. But it looks good already. going to be one hell of a nice cabin. If it was a real little bit smaller, I could live in it. <laughs> I give everything a little bit white vinyl, so it looked like leather. And added some more carbon details. And of course, every truck driver has got a smartphone nowadays. So let's make one and put it on the dashboard. The floor was plastic, so I'm adding some red LED lights and now I'm going to make some carpet. The cloth I'm using is from an old tent, but it fits nicely and it looks like real carpet, as you can see. The 
it's gonna be a one a hell of a cozy cabin look at the lights nice this little piece of plastic is going to be the underside from the seats the captain chairs as you will know because every truck driver have to have good seats The material I use for the seats are pieces of an old yoga mat, it's a kind of foam. It's really soft and it feels like wooden really seats. Of course, it's going to be white and black, because that's the theme from the inside. I think they are pretty decent, if I may say. And now I'm going to make some seat belts from the same material as I used for the floor carpet. They fit nicely, you see. I made some armrests. A Watts Scania V8 without them V8 logos. So I added them on the seats and added some more buttons and little details to make it more realistic. And of course, some little curtains. For the front, the side, and added the 27 MC. And what's a truck without a bed? So, let's make one. I'm using the same material as the carpet, but it fits nicely, as you can see. It's a folding bed. I added the little curtains and some more details. I think the cabin is almost ready. So, next project. Let's make the high roof. Using, of course, you know it, a piece of the old tobacco box. Still following this build? Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Draw out some lines and make the opening for the top window. And of course, put a lot of Bondo on it. It's always Bondo time in Peter's house. So, now it's time for the top spoiler. I'm gonna make it from the same material I use from the, for the dashboard and for some other parts. It fits nicely as you can see. It's going to be epic. And of course, adding more and more Bondo. It's really gonna be a heavy boy. Now I am taping off the windows. To prep it for sanding and priming. After sanding, I put on some special putty, especially made for scale models, just to try. Yeah, it really works. Nice. A lot of sanding to do, but it's gonna be worth it, because it's gonna be smooth. This is the last time you see it like this, because now I gave it a red base coat. But I wasn't happy with the finish, so let's sand again, and again, and again, and again. It's really looking rough, but I faith in me, it's going to be alright. Now, the doors, I put on some white primer again and added the Scania logo on the back. Okay, 
let's make it ready for paint. After sanding, I mask it off and gave it some primer and a first coat of the color. It's a red metallic with some silver and gold metallic flakes in it, like a candy apple red. It's really nice, but I wasn't happy the first time, because look at it, it's, it's really rough, but okay, let's make some details, like the top lights and the top window. And now I'm going to add some more lights and details, like the chrome strips on the front and the grill. It's going to be a real Scania and I'm using real mesh for it from an old speaker. The outside from the grill is grey metallic with a matte finish and the grill is black. Even the place where the Scania logo will be is black, black metallic. I'm making the bars in the grill from real aluminium. It's going to be awesome, as you can see. Now I'm going to make the lights. I'm using the same material as the grill, so real aluminium for the inside. And made a little fog lights too. I'm making the insides for the lights from final, so it looks more real. The lights are almost finished. So I'm starting to work on the Scania logo on the front. I want to make it from aluminium, but that doesn't work. So I printed a decal and put that on. And some other details and decals. Now I'm going to make some windows for the side and for the front. I made it of plexiglass, about three or three millimeters thick. You can hardly see but it's in, the window is in. Here is a better picture of it. And you can see the paint is really rough. The side windows are in too. Now it's time to make some wheels from old bottle caps. I gave the rims a little bit paint, but after that, I put some chrome vinyl on it. It looks much better than black. And now it's time for the tires. The tires are made of the old yoga mat. Because mm, I don't do the yoga. So I can use them as wheels. And it looks astonishing for the first time. Because why buy something when you can build it yourself? Just some pictures for the overview. Now let's make, make a bumper spoiler and some cap corners because I think it makes it more, uh, yeah, more manly. Now it's time for the rear wheels. I want to make them a bit wider and drill some holes in it for a more realistic look. This is gonna be the bumper lip and the cap corners. I fitted them and they fit nicely. I'm very happy with it. In the front spoiler I make some lights. Yeah, now it's time for the tires again. And look at that boy. It's going to be nice. Only the paintwork is a little bit rough. But don't worry, and back to the tires again. I fitted them and they look hmm, almost real, especially when I painted the inside and put some aluminium look final on it.
Now it's time to make some fuel tanks for it. I use the real aluminium to bend it and make it just like a real fuel tank. Not bad I think, for the first time. I use some zip ties to hold it in place and it looks like the real straps. Now it's time to make a smooth rear panel and some side skirts. I use plastic for it, of course. I made the holes where the lights fit and I painted the rear. Fit some lights and now it's time for some big exhausts, stacks. I made them from, uh, how do you call it? Little antennas, yeah. I think they look pretty real to me. What do you think? And what do you think about the build so far? Do you think I am to do this another time with my own voice? Or should I do it like the old videos with some text instead of talking? Now it's time to fit some more lights and a front bumper spoiler kind of thing and some chrome uh, sidebars. Now it's time to make the rear more smooth. I use wood for this from an old picture frame and I'm gonna put some chrome final on it so it looks like metal. Yeah, it's looking more and more real. What do you think? Now it's time to make some rear fenders. I use plastic for this and build them in the shape I want. Make holes in it for the lights and after that I'm going to paint them the same color as the cap. Fitted the lights and it looks awesome I think and painted them the same color. And after that I put some chrome trims on it. And now I'm going to make some door panels. I made them out of plastic and painted them black. And I added some magnets to close the door properly. And you know what I said in the beginning of the movie? I was not happy with the paint finish. So, back to Bondo and sanding again. In the meanwhile, making the door panels more realistic. Yes, I love how it turned out this time. This is the color I want. After a couple of days of drying, I'm going to polish it. Look at that shiny boy. Nice, I love it. Now I'm building a front spoiler above the window. And starting to add more chrome details, like the grill and the side moldings below the window. Looks much better than, than final. Now it's time to make some mirrors.
fitted some real mirrors. And now I'm back to the back side again to make some lines and some electricity cables. Fitted a gearbox or something that looks like a gearbox and a prop shaft. I made a little metal plate on it to make it nice and tidy. And now the finishing touches. Adding more decals, real decals, not hand painted, but just real decals. And I'm loving it. This project, it was almost a month, maybe a month and two weeks, but I really loved this project. I never built a truck before. Mostly I do when I build is cars. And this was something different, but I enjoyed every second of it. And I keep you guys updated because there's gonna be a part two. I'm going to build a trailer for it. So, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, or su subscribe. And I hope I see you the next time. Bye bye.